Well, I hope you're not getting bored of these Kenwood videos or installations we're doing. It's Connor from John Cleese Car Audio here again. This time we are in a Volkswagen Caddy and I will show you exactly what we've done in this one. Let's just swing the camera around, lower it down a bit. There we go. So this has had the Kenwood seven inch flush fit unit, DMX 8020 is the model. Let me just give it some juice and turn it on for you so you can have a see what we've done. Gloss black fascia surround, just to match the gloss black surround of the Kenwood. Nice little touch. What we've done here is we've put the blank actually down there in a factory VW official blank. It's quite a nice little touch. Not gonna really need to plug it in too often because wireless CarPlay, but at least you've got the option there and you can sit your phone in there nice and tidy. Let's turn it on, there we go. So this is the home screen, push the home button. Let's go for connecting a phone to begin with. I'll show you what Apple CarPlay works like. I'm not an Android user here, so we're gonna go with an iPhone. So I'm gonna push the telephone button. It's gonna make it visible. Now I'm gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna push the settings button. I'm gonna go Bluetooth. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for it. There you go, straight down the bottom, it's found it. I'm gonna hit pair. I'm gonna hit allow, and I'm gonna hit yes on here. And then it will come up with, do you enable wireless CarPlay? We're gonna go use CarPlay. And then we're gonna hit yes on here. Wait a few seconds, and then, whoosh, there you go. Apple CarPlay, all connected up. So if we push the home button, let me see if I can get that focused a bit better. Here we go. So then, yeah, we can go through all your music app, your navigation apps, stream internet radio, you know, the usual things that CarPlay, uh, you've probably seen many times on our channel. I'm not gonna go too much into it for you. So if we go to the home button, this has op got an optional reverse camera input. We can also put an HDMI in, which you've probably seen on other other videos showing you an Amazon Fire Stick fitted. You've got wireless mirroring from a Android phone, not Apple. Otherwise you can do USB mirroring from other devices. You can also support USB video files on the memory stick down here input I've showed you earlier. But yeah, job lot really. Nice and straightforward. Let's go back. And that's pretty much it from us today. We'll keep posting. Uh, hope you don't get too bored, but yeah, got a lot to come on YouTube this year. Speak to you soon. See you later.